All right, well, I'm continuing on with my study of the crystalline uh, batteries. And uh, my little friend Penny over here is still running on that one, uh, going on two weeks now. And I've been tracking the uh, voltages uh, twice a day. And it's fluctuating up and down. It goes uh, up in the evening, and in the morning it's down. And I don't know if it's temperature, humidity, what's going on, but this was the one that I'd be pointless uh, designed. It's a uh, alum, a salt substitute, not salt, but salt substitute, Morton salt substitute, borax, like 20 mutine borax, and it's cooked on the stove. And then uh, it's copper and magnesium, and that's what it looks like when it's all done. And uh, the alum is on the top here that melts down into the other chemicals. And the other chemicals really don't melt. Uh, they just get real hot. And somehow something goes on there because that thing's still running, folks. And the voltage really isn't dropping anymore. Uh, for a while there, it, it looked like it was going to drop off, taper off. And now it's stabilized. And it's been that way for several days now. So I'm just going to see how long she runs. And... Uh, go from there but I wanted to go back to this thing here that was the uh, Epsom salt Rochelle salts and alum that was melted and uh, I put a cell together today using uh, a magnesium uh, I'm sorry a zinc coated uh, bolt machine screw it's hot dip galvanized and then a little copper uh, end cap plumbing and then uh, it's uh, those chemicals completely melted on the stove uh, and then sealed with epoxy. And I wanted to try this to seal up a cell completely to keep out the humidity. And then uh, I used this five minute epoxy that went off real quick. And this didn't completely dry out, I don't think. So what I got over left over here was um, about 0.8 volts. And it's running this little oscillator here. Not as bright as Penny's. You know, Penny has magnesium, so she has a higher voltage. But uh, it's running this thing. And I'm just going to see what happens with this voltage as this thing sets up and cures with everything trapped inside. And uh, I'll be interested to see if, if the voltage drops off linearly or dramatically or what happens with a sealed cell like that. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. I've been testing these uh, crystalline batteries. I did one other that was real interesting. I made a, uh, um Epsom salt crystal melted it on the stove and uh, that's a piece of magnesium in there and that's uh, iron pyrite rock and that's from the John Bedini rock battery project and when these things are completely dry I can set that in that little uh, like dish there and move it around and get different voltages because the iron pyrite has a diode effect on it and I've been studying that uh, completely dry but when you move this thing around you'll pick up voltages also if you heat it up of course you, you get a voltage rise too but that's been an interesting experiment with the uh, um, Epsom salt crystal with this iron pyrite rock which is the semiconductor the diode basically so I'm still studying that along with these other little projects here so anyway that's where I'm at with this thanks for watching